Jack Jones for joining us. Uh, we'll use the raise hand function for any questions that you have for Jack. Uh, Hode, you're our first question. Hey, Jack, good seeing you. Uh, what has been the difference for you this year compared to last year? Do you think uh, 2019 was more about just feeling everything out and 2020 you're just more comfortable from every imaginable aspect? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, 2019 season, I was coming from a bad situation. You know, I, I was able to stay a year. So coming into this season, you know, I, I feel way better, way, way better. Trevor. Uh, Jack, when Chase was on here the other day, he was pretty candid about how you guys call each other every morning and you just make sure you're good, the both of you during practice. Um, given your talent and then kind of the next level, what you guys can both achieve there potentially, how important do you think it is for you guys to collectively kind of be together and translating to what you can each do individually? Uh, I mean, I think both of our, 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 our success reflects off each other because you know, his success will reflect off me and then same thing vice versa, because if he ball, then I have to ball, no question. Same thing vice versa, you know, it, it's not a one man show. We both we both have a dream and a goal to, to potentially it, to go first round, you know, it, that that's the goal. That's what, that's what we write in our notebook. So, and you know, we, we can't go out there playing mediocre or playing half ass or not knowing our assignment or, or, or not being mentally ready. So, you know, we try to focus and lead and, and do the thing, the little things that coach says. Michelle. Uh, Jack, you've tweeted out about how happy you are to be here and this was the best decision you ever made. What is it about this experience that has meant so much to you? And second part of the question, did you think about declaring it all last year? Uh, yeah, I actually did. That, and that's what made me tweet that because when I, last year I talked about it. I talked to Coach Herm. I talked to Coach Marv. I talked to Coach AP uh, uh, about me leaving. And, you know, they all said I, I should stay another year. And, you know, me being young and, and me just wanting things to happen fast, that's, I was thinking I should leave. But I had to step back and take a step outside of my shoes and, and, and listen for, for once. And, and you know, Best idea ever. <laughs> Mac. Hey, Jack, what are your first impressions of Coach Pierce's and Coach Lewis's new uh, system? And then what kind of impact has Coach Pierce had on you over the years also? Yeah. Uh, I mean, first question, I don't know. The impact AP had on me, though, I'm life-changing. <laughs> life-changing. I mean, two years ago, I was in a situation where – I really didn't know if I was going to play football again. And, you know, AP kind of put me back on my feet. And um, I'm, I got to take it and run with it. Trevor. Chris Hawkins, the, the player who says he's gotten to be your position coach now and getting used to him in that respect in the last couple of months, what that's uh, provided. Uh, well, well, the situation with me and Chris Hawkins, with me and Coach Hawk, um, you know, he, he's always been an older guy and been a guy I looked up to even when I was at SC and we were playing on the same field together. He's always been that coach, you know, and always been that mentor, even if it was on or off the field. So it's like him coming here and actually being my coach and him uh, and, and him getting getting that label, it, it wasn't like a big thing for me. It, all, I, all I thought was, you know, play good for him, play good for AP, play good for the team, you know? Oh, Jack, I know that uh, some of your teammates on defense are, you know, quote unquote, complaining about everything Zach Hill and this offense throws at you. But I got to think there's a benefit to that, too, because I know you're going to play some talented teams in 2020, but I doubt any offense is going to be that creative, that complex as the offense that you see every day in practice. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Offense. Offense is nice. I, I love what I love what Coach Hill is doing over there. I, I love the offense. Doug. Jack, uh, good to see you. I've asked a, a lot of people this question. Just from last year to this year, what are the main differences you've seen in, in Jaden Daniels' development? Um, I'm not really on the offensive side, so, you know, I can't say too much. But from the very first time I seen J5, I, I thought he was a baller. And I thought, you know, he had – last year when I first came, I was telling him he had potential to win the Heisman candidate if he played – you know, if he put up the numbers he's supposed to, if he if he have a great year like he's supposed to, then I, I feel like he would be in a Heisman talk for real. Trevor. 
Uh, Jack, we've seen pictures from you in practice and you and the DBs kind of in the weight room of the physical gains you've been able to make. Um, what weight are you at right now? What kind of physical improvements have you made and how much has Coach Joe helped with that? For real. Shout out Coach Joe. That's real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When I was at SC, I felt like it was so hard to gain weight, to get bigger, to, you know, but, uh, I, you know, I got here and Coach Joe didn't put some pounds on me. I am went around like 174 now. Again, again, about six to eight pounds. Michelle. Uh, Jack, you played at USC with Chris Hawkins, did you not? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, so what is that dynamic like now? I've got to think that you've got even more trust in him just because you guys do go way back. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, and I, and I think that's why the trust runs so deep just because we played at SC together and, you know, we kind of know each other. Trevor. Oh, there, sorry. Um, so DeAndre um, is obviously another poly guy, Jack. Um, what's been he been able to kind of provide for your secondary and what's he going to be able to do for you guys this year? Uh, he's a big help to our defense. He's, he's a big help to our defense. Um, you know, De DeAndre Pierce is DeAndre Pierce and, and he plays his own style of play. And, and we, we need that style of play on the field with us. He's going he's gonna to make some, some, some noise in our back end. Alex? Hey, Jack, is T. Lee a guy who can maybe surprise some people with how much he could sort of um, is involved in the team early on? Yeah, for sure. I think, I think T. Lee is a young prodigy. I think T. Lee, you know, once he gets past all the, all the, freshman, all the freshman nonsense, you know, because every, everybody goes through the freshman nonsense, and I say, that, I say that from experience. Once he gets past that, then T. Lee, is, he's going to be a dog. Crazy. He's going to be crazy. Two more questions. Trevor. Uh, Jack, you talked a little bit about Coach Pierce last year. He would talked about his conversations with Brandon Ayuk and being a pro and getting ready to let, uh, for that level. Um, what kind of things has me, he maybe outlined to you, expectations or sort of things that you can prepare for as you get to, to reach in that level? I mean, it's, it's really lead by example. You know, uh, me being uh, one of the older guys on the team, I'm not, I'm not the younger guy anymore looking up. I'm an older guy looking down, helping out, leading. So, you know, I have to lead by example and do everything right. Cool. Hey, Jack. So I've only been here a year, but when I was at spring ball, I felt like I could always hear you uh, chirping at your teammates and being vocal on the field. I was just wondering if you've seen your competitive language evolve over the years and have you continued that into fall practices? Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, that's who I am. You know, I'm, I'm a chirpy guy. I'm going to talk. Uh, that, that's just the type of uh, game style I play. But I, I, I really try to do it for for our own purposes because if, if I can get our own defense fired up, I feel like we can be unbeatable. I feel like no, nobody can beat us if everybody's playing that on their A game.